Hi, welcome to this chassis ML tutorial video where I will walk through how to deploy a model that we've built using the chassis ML service to KServe, which is an open source model inference platform that runs on top of Kubernetes. Now, before we get started, if you're following along, make sure that you have installed the required dependencies. Those are Docker, KubeControl, Minikube, and KServe. Before installing KServe, make sure that you've started your Minikube cluster with this minikube start command. Okay, let's dive in. To deploy a model to KServe, we need to configure this YAML file that I've downloaded directly from the chassis repository. In this file, we will define the inference service for the V1 protocol of KServe. And in this file, we give our deployment a name and point to the container that we would like to deploy. Now, if you followed along in our build a model tutorial, you'll notice that this is the exact same model that we built and pushed to a Docker registry using the chassis service. Moreover, we need to define a few environment variables, those being interface as kserve, the HTTP port as 8080, the protocol as v1, and the model name digits. And once this file is good to go, we can run a kube control command to apply these changes. and we've now successfully configured this deployment. Next, we need to define a few variables that we need for querying the pod on which this container will be running. So we'll start by defining this ingress host variable, followed by the ingress port, and then we need to define a few more, namely the service name. This has to match what we've defined in our YAML configuration file, our model name, which also must match the model name defined in our config file and our service host name. Now that we're all set up, it's time to query the model and run inference on that model against some sample data. And to do so in KServe, you actually need to base64 encode that sample data. Now remember, the model we're working with classifies images of digits, and we set that model up to expect a NumPy array representation of each image as the input. So what we want to do is make sure that we properly base64 encode those NumPy arrays. Here's some sample code we can use to do so if we didn't already have our NumPy array encoded. If, for example, we wanted to encode two example instances, where these are the two arrays we're working with, we could use the sample script to create a properly encoded input example. Now, fortunately, in the chassis repository, we've created a sample input JSON that has two example images already encoded. So we'll use this file for running inference. Okay, now we can actually run a sample inference against this model. Now, with this simple curl command, we can make an inference call to this model container served within KServe in our Minikube cluster. And you'll notice we specify some of the environment variables that we defined earlier to make sure that we are hitting the correct endpoint for our particular model within the KServe cluster. And in passing through the sample input file that we just defined, we can get our predictions printed directly to our terminal. And since we encoded two sample images in our inputs file, we have two sets of predictions, which are in the format we defined when building this model in the previous tutorial. And that concludes this tutorial. We took a model that we automatically containerized and pushed to a Docker registry using the chassis service and deployed that to KServe and ran a sample inference using a basic curl command. Make sure to check out our other tutorials where we walk through different ways to interact with this model. Thanks for tuning in.